Hello YouTubers. This came to me recently. Um, a working netbook but with a completely broken display. I mean that's not fixable. It's not really worth buying a replacement display for these things. They're so cheap now. So am I going to throw this out? Well no. Um, I've got plans for this. So the first thing to notice is that uh, even though the screen is broken and in this case disabled um, the VGA output works perfectly which opens up all sorts of possibilities specifically I wanted to connect this netbook to the TV in the bar which is also a flat screen um, and I want it to play a media file um, a video of a fireplace uh, which would be quite nice during the winter months um, to do that I don't want to bother the bar staff with having to um, turn the computer on then log in then find the relevant media file play it and maximize the window that has to be done automatically um, so um, what I want to do is to automatically um, have it auto log in and play a playlist in the uh, media player and I want it to automatically go to full screen. Um, to do that, I wrote a batch file, which I should show you now. That's the batch file. It's very simple. It's just got a 10 second timeout. Um, starts the media player, um, the playlist, and um, makes it go to full screen. Um, to do that, you just um, write a document um, in a simple text editor. Um, save it as .bat, don't save it as a text file and um, when you're finished save that file in the startup folder. The startup folder is in the menu and the fireplace file is um, a particular batch file. Okay that's turned off. Let's turn that on. and it should do the whole thing automatically try and hold this steady And that's it. Those media controls will disappear. There we go. And that's all from pressing the on button and nothing else. And uh, turning off is equally as simple. That's it. Nice and easy for the bar staff. Obviously that's just um, one use. I can put this netbook towards. Um, I'm also going to use it on the nights we have music in the bar. Um, occasionally we have uh, music in the bar and they play directly in front of the TV. So it seems a shame not to have um, images uh, on the TV behind the band members. Um, so I'm thinking of having things like live at in the name of the pub displayed behind them and uh, other promotional stuff tied to the band and to the pub. Um, I also think displaying photographs and artwork by uh, people who live locally might be a good idea. This can all be done quite easily because I can remote connect to the netbook and um, I've installed VNC um, for this and um, I can log on to this thing from anywhere in the pub and uh, or anywhere really full stop and um, take control of the netbook and display whatever information I want and very quickly turn it on
and that's it. And the computer's up there, out of the way. And that's the fireplace on the TV screen in the bar. Job done. See the TV play. Uh, no, no, no. Have the oh God. I want it to do that. Uh, no. Obviously, that's just one. Um, that's too quick. So, what can you do then? <coughs> <coughs> Plot that again.